Hello Reminders, in this video we are going to learn how we can create monster killing game in ZDevelop platform. So this is the free platform where you can create games and earn money. So in this video we will create one simple game step by step. So first we will download that ZDevelop. So I already have that. So I'm going to use this offline version of ZDevelop. So let me just open that ZDevelop first. So that's the first screen. Now click on the create a blank project and then my project name is king something oh, and then click on create project. So that's we have one blank screen. So just press control minus or control or command minus something. So make that screen like this smaller like this. Now we need to add some component here like the background and the object so just in the right side you will find the object option click on add new object and you will find here the spit this one or you can click on the search asset from here so just click on search assets so you don't need to use your own okay if you want to use your own so you have to use new object from scratch so i'm going to use here from here so just type your background and you will find here there are a lot of background images here so what I will do here, I will choose one background image. So I will use your winter background, this one. Okay. So, uh, and uh, I want to use this one is winter background is fine. So I'm going to use that one and just add to the game. Just close this. So we have one winter background. So drag and drop this here and make this one smaller. So just drag like this here, make it here and drag more like this here. Here, and you can uh, drag like this in a long way so we have that one background now we need here some platform to run our object or run our king or run our uh, tanker okay so just uh, search here platform and you'll find that there are a lot of platforms so I'm going to choose here some platform here just scroll down and you'll get some platform here so let's find out so see that one platform green floor I'm going to use that one green floor so just select that and click on that add to game and wait some time yes done then just type your tanker i'm going to add one object here also so tank let's see okay that's that one so i'm going to use your green tank or which one tank okay this one green tank one okay and then add to the game and now we need some bullets also so just search your bullet and you'll find here there are a lot of bullets so I'm going to use your tank bullet 6 one, this one and then just add to the game or you can make that this one bullet, this one is looking cool. Okay, so add to the game and with some seconds, done. Now we need here monster also. So just search here MON as monster and you'll find here that one monster. So just add that monster also. So now we have added all components in our game. See here we have five. Now we need object. So just drag and drop green floor and make this one here in the floor like this, like this and make this size like this, make it here and make it a little bit long. Okay. So look like the platform like this. Cool. Now we have platform. Now we have background. We need object. We need a tanker. So that on green tanker here. So we need to decrease the size of that. So just use like that, like this. Okay and just make it here so now we need to add some behavior of that object so that is the object okay so just right click on that and then edit object okay click on that and you'll find here the behavior click on behavior click on add behavior and you'll find that this one is a platform character okay so just select platform character and then just apply okay now we need to add that one is as a a platform otherwise you can see let me just preview that game that one that's gone okay so we we need to make that one as a platform that green so just select that one click on edit uh, object click on behavior click on add behavior and select as a platform this is our platform and apply okay now when i just use my tanker here and let's click on preview so this will stuck here see and i can uh, if i just click on that uh, right button like in that we have four buttons if i just see the press the right one so it's a go here left and it doesn't jump with the space button 
like this okay tanker can jump here yeah. this tanker can jump now let's let's focus on the bullets option so how we can fire the bullet okay so we will use your one bullet firstly okay that bullet we needed okay and we need one monster also so i will use one monster that monster here cool now how we can fire the bullets okay so first what i will do here go to the event so we need to code for that okay so how we can code for that so go to the untitled scene event here so click on that here project manager and you will find the scene untitled scene so whenever you open the project so this will not assign the scene name so click on the scene edit so you see the rename and you can just say the main main screen something like that see here okay so click on here click on the main screen so that one is your screen now click on the main screen events so click on the add events and whenever someone whenever someone press the f button so we have to fire okay so click on add condition and just say key pressed okay whenever the key pressed f okay then okay whenever we someone f key pressed then add the condition is we will create one object create just type here create an object and the which object we have to create the bullet okay and the x y position is so the position of x is a tanker okay is a tanker tank dot x okay this is the position of x and the green tanker tank dot y that's the position of green tank and then okay like this now we need to apply the force also so add action and just type here force and see apply force so add force we will use your add force option and where we need to we need to force the bullet speed on the x axis is uh, zero and the y is nothing and this is the permanent and then okay force is y is zero so here you can see the force of x on x so we need to apply some force okay so we will assign the value is like around 500 okay and the y is 0 so what is the 500 the 500's value force it means in the x coordinate in it means here that one coordination okay and the y is nothing so this will this our bullet move in the right like this left to right here so let's just preview that and just press the f see that's the bullet okay you can jump the bullet that's the bullet cool now that's we need add sound okay so whenever someone press the f button we need to add sound so add action and you just see the music just type here see play a music file click on the choose file okay so click on choose file because we don't have any file right now so i will use one file here so i'm going to use this one so you can download that sound from the internet or i will give you all that file in the description also so open this and okay yes okay and the volume i'm going to use here the 20 or 50 something okay uh, and then okay cool and let's preview this and let's see how it's work but the thing is here see the where is the bullet the bullet comes from the end of the tanker see like this but i need a bullet from that uh, you know that the point in the front so how we can do that so cut this and just go to the main screen okay and click on that uh, tanker right click on that added object and you will get the option of added points click on that and you will see here the origin that one we have origin in the center so make sure the center should be here but the origin that one is origin you can drag and drag that and check that which one is origin and which one is center and drag that one here because we have to get our bullet from that uh, that option that uh, point so just close this and apply this okay and that's let's preview is and now see the bullets point from here so go to uh, here and you can slow down that your music volume to 10 and the force you can make it 100 cool now main screen now we have done the things now, now we need to move our tanker okay so how we can move that so we need we don't need to move the tanker we need to use here that uh, that platform to be moved okay to be moved so click on event and click on add new event click on add action and just type here the force or just say here the uh, image offset so you see the image x offset 
and just the green floor choose the operator is ok and the value is you can see the 5 and then plus time delta and just ok like this just preview that and let's see how it's work see this is working fine cool and you can press the F like this now what you need to do we need to kill that monster with our with our bullets so how we can do that so that is our monster where is the monster this is my monster here this one so this one is my monster here so i have to kill it so first what we need to do first we need to add that monster here okay this is make it smaller like this first but whenever someone kill that monster whenever our bullet kill that so we will create another monster so first whenever add condition whenever the bullet okay or you just type your collision okay c o w l -L, collision between object is bullet okay and the object is the monster okay object and the monster then okay on that collision the we will uh, add the condition okay make sure that should be in a new event okay make sure add new events and drag and drop it here like this so after this we need to hide the or we need to delete the object of bullet so delete delete the object and the object is bullet like this and again uh, we need to add here add action delete delete the object and delete the monster on that but after deleting that we need to create one monster again so we just need to add action just type here create create an object and which object we have to create we have to create monster and the x and the y position okay so first uh, we will just uh, randomly say the x position is 700 and the y is 463 around but we need to add some random value also here so click plus and just type here random add that random function and value is around 500 like this and then okay like this okay now let's see how it's working or not okay so that's the monster that let me just click it's all done now we need to hide that bullet also and uh, yeah one more thing we need to add i need to add that speed is 500 like this we have to done one more thing we have to add that monster whenever we create the monster we have to add their force okay so we will add the force in the monster so click on select monster add the force here add force okay and add force to the move toward an object and which object is the tanker and that is the permanent select this one and the speed you can make it 100 and then okay just and we need to do the same thing here also uh, where whenever we start a game so just add new events and just here let's see it's working fine or not oh the, the monster speed is too too high so what i will do i just delete this one and the monster tank is uh, is like uh, 50 is uh, fine and let's delete that one okay and let's preview and let's press the f and with monster there is someone or not okay there is one monster see this one you can delete it and there's more monster again again but what you can do here you see the that is come from here so you can make your perfect size so what i will do here i will set the location so in the x y position is here see you can see 408 and the y is 451 so x is 408 and the y is 451 so make sure 451 is the 451 451 is the y cool now what i need to do whenever the whenever the add condition whenever the monster okay monster and the and the uh, green tank collide so just type here collision this one and the monster okay i'm sorry collision oh sorry sorry wait a second cancel this just click on add condition just type here collision this one select the object is monster and another object is a tank whenever they collide so we need to make our game over so we'll change the screen okay so go to the here left side and see the main screen is only click on add one more scene here double click on that and we need to add one new object okay so i will choose from here game over screen if there is any 
let's see there's any game over screen no so what i will do uh, here i will click on add new object i will click on the new from scratch click on split click on add animation click on add i have added okay and then just apply just drag and drop that here screen and just make it smaller so I will, I will fix that like this and i will just make that game screen like this okay cool then go to the uh, untitled scene uh, main screen event so whenever they collide so i will just change the screen change scene okay so just type here change scene you will find the change the scene and the scene name is untitled it means that game over and then okay and let's see let's preview this and let's see how it's for okay we have killed this and there's one more whenever they uh, collide with see the ch screen is changed game over so there are a lot of things to do in this game okay so that's the basic of monster killing game if you need any help on that so just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problems thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye <laughs>